Hi, my name's Dr. Rosemary Higgins. I'm a health psychologist and an academic. I've worked at the Australian Centre for Heart Health for 25 years and I help to run their cardiac counselling clinic. I see many people with heart disease over the course of my practice as a health psychologist. As a healthcare professional, it's going to be very, very important when dealing with clients who've had child onset heart disease to be aware of trauma because of the impact of separation and surgery. If you're someone that you've been seeing for a while, look out for changes, whether they've stopped doing the things that they really enjoy or whether they've, they've got more sadness than they've ever had before. I want you to try to adopt an approach of trauma-aware and trauma-informed healthcare. You don't have to ask the young person about their trauma to know that they may well have been through trauma. It may be useful to understand that the amygdala, which is part of the brain, encodes safety from the environment. So the person who has being traumatised will be scanning the environment four times every second to see if it's safe. How you are and what you say will be interpreted through that lens. But I want you also to be aware of your own stress and trauma when you're working in this area, which can be really difficult. One very important thing is communication with other health professionals, particularly between the medical team and the mental health team. We want the health professionals to be able to educate and inform patients, but we also know that if patients and families are very distressed, they can't take in the information that you want to give them. So being able to give information in bite-sized components. I think we also have to consider the role of advocacy. Many parents will get completely worn out by the challenge of being their child's advocate. The challenge here is not taking it personally for the health professional and for the parents it's keeping it nice, being clear and direct but not attacking, building a relationship of trust that's going to help that young person get their needs met in the best way possible. I want you to really know that kindness really matters and an approach of kindness and empathy is one of the most powerful healing tools that you have in your bag. So I want you to use that and allow it to be there between you and the patient.